Hi, I wanted to talk to you about using underglaze colors. Uh, we just got these in uh, yesterday. Um, they're from Clay Planet uh, down in the San Jose area, um, and they make them. They're called Western Underglazes, and this is a small set that you can buy. Uh, we're, we're selling them pretty much at cost for $15. Um, we, we're charging a couple of dollars for uh, shipping. And um, anyways, it's a great way to get started using these. Um, and if you use them sparingly, a little bit goes a long way. Um, and you could have some colored accents on your projects this semester. When I use these, I really like to use them on leather hard clay. Um, the reason, one of the reasons I do is that if I put, if any spills or drips someplace where I don't want it, um, it's very easy uh, to remove it with a tool. Um, you can just scrape it away. So that's one of the reasons. You can actually use underglaze uh, on a bisque project. Um, this clay body is actually what this clay body looks like once it's been fired. So you can see that the color of the clay changes quite a bit after the first firing. Like I said, I like to use them on leather hard clay because I can kind of see what my project is doing as I go along. And um, these colors are essentially colored clay. Um, and if you want them to be a little bit brighter, you can put them over white slip. Um, the white slip is something you can pick up in our lab when you come in to uh, get glaze for your projects. Uh, although this you definitely have to put on um, in the leather hard state. So you may want to pick some up um, to use on your slab project. Anyway, uh, that comes for free with your clay. Uh, so we could give you a small container of that to take home and put it on your pieces if you know there's areas where you want the color um, to really be a little brighter. And the glazes are a little bit brighter over the white slip as well. I wanted to show you, finally, um, a example of what these underglaze colors look like uh, when they're fired and you put a bit of Arcone 6 clear glaze on them. Um, I had a texture on this cub. I guess you can see that. And what I did is I was using a white clay body, so I didn't need to put white slip down. Um, but anyways, I uh, put them on when it was in the green mare state, uh, in other words, leather hard. And then also uh, just one coat, just brushed it pretty quickly. It was really meant to be a demonstration of these underglazes, which I hadn't used before, and uh, fired it. And then um, I put, uh, then it, it became bisque and then I picked it up and um, came back to the lab and basically put two coats of very thin clear glaze on it and this was the result I got with these colors so they're they're pretty nice and bright um, especially for you know 15 bucks it's a great deal uh, you do not have to have them be shiny if you don't put uh, clear over them this is the way they look this is the bottom of the piece you can't put glaze on the bottom of your pieces or it will stick to the kiln shelf in the firing. Anyways, that's an example of what they look like fired and this is how to apply them on leather hard clay. I just used a brush uh, and put them on two coats at a time. I think I would put only one coat of yellow but I put two coats of the red um, and two coats of the blue. And I also scratched through the slip right here and made those two circles together that's a technique called scraffito, um, and it's a really interesting technique um, for drawing on clay is to cover the clay surface with a slip or a colored slip or an underglaze and then to scratch designs into it. Um, it's a really cool technique. So that's a little bit about underglazes, and thanks for watching.